Hey there YouTube, it's Tech Mentalist bringing you another Tech Mentalist video about tech. And uh, in this video I will be showing you a in-depth video of the task manager. And just to let you guys know, I'm not dead. I just stopped posting videos for a really long time. And I am going to be posting videos regularly. Regul regularly reg okay fuck that word but I'm gonna start posting videos again just like I was before before I stopped and epically crashed and burned okay so let's get on with the video there are a few different ways to open task manager the way I always do it is I just have it pinned but you could right click the task bar down here click start task manager and then there's the applications tab which just shows all the applications that aren't running in the background like if I open explore right here it's going to say libraries because the title is libraries and um, if I click end task it will close it and um, if I go back to it and select it switch to that's just going to switch to it and now I have to open task manager again but um, just click end task and then there's the new task which just uh, let's see it's end this X the the um create new task task code is explore dot exe that will you could also browse for a program that you want to open but go ahead and click OK and that will open libraries again and then um then there's your processes this is just a a more detailed and more more detailed edition of applications tab it has more tools a bigger list as my smart little brother doesn't know what to do and is crying just yet just cuz he can't make the jack come out of the box his jack off in the box but uh, this is just a processes you could show processes from all users and uh, it may look like a, a bunch of jumbled up code but it all stands for something um, like task mgr.exe that's task manager right there and um, explore.exe is your desktop icons your ta your taskbar most of everything it's a really vital process and um if you select the process like task mgr.exe task manager and click end process and click end process again it will term terminate that process it's going to uh it's going to close that process unless it it could give you trouble but uh, then there's your services um in this tab it's kind of like processes but it's way more advanced uh, I wouldn't mess around in here because you could really screw your system in the butt because I remember one time I stopped one of these and I had to reinstall Windows 7 then there's your performance it just shows your CPU usage here in this top left little square with the graph in it mine's going mine's not going under 50 percent it's staying at like 60 to 50 then there's your memory which just shows how much memory you're using then there's a a uh, little chart here it shows physical memory in megabytes total approximately 3000 megabytes which is 3 gigabytes then there's the cached which is a little over 1200 which is approximately one gigabyte then there's the available which is how much memory you have left and uh, that's almost two gigabytes is hovering around 2000 and then there's your free which is under which is just a little bit under one gigabyte then there's your kernel memory if there's in which again is measured in megabytes there's your paged and your non-paged then there's your system you have your handles your threads 
your processes, your uptime, and um, your commit, which is measured in megabytes. And your uptime, your uptime is shows how long you have been on your computer since it last turned off. And then the next tab is your uh, networking, which just shows your network, your adapter name, your network utilization. That just shows how much of your network is using. Your link speed, that's uh, how the, the fastest your connection will be able to go. Mine is 10 megabytes per second. But my real download speed is uh, 60 kilobytes per second at best. Then there's your state connected. And then your processes, if you go back to here, show processes from all users. This is how many processes are in your processes. It just shows the number down here. Then there's your CPU usage. Your, these numbers right here and this one right here are the same. Then there's your physical memory. How much percent of it you are using, which is for me 35%. Then there's uh, your resource monitor, which is just a more detailed, more advanced edition of your task manager. It's pretty cool and the end tab is users and uh, this is just me right here. Then um, it just shows a little bit of info. You could disconnect them and log them off if you want to or you could send a message. Uh, you could do all that. Anyways this is uh, just Tech Mentalist bringing you another Tech Mentalist video about tech and uh, I'll see you later YouTube. Please subscribe if you if this helped you. And if it didn't help you rate please rate the video thumbs up or thumbs down. It really motivate me to make a new video if you liked it. And uh this is Tech Mentalist. I'll see you next time YouTube.